Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Headlocks and Hot Packs. Eric here once again. Thanks for returning. And fall time is for football. So we have some vintage football to check out today. I grabbed this at the LCS. This is one of uh, a number of videos which I've done before. And for whatever reason, the file was like corrupted or something and didn't work out. So I'm revisiting it so that I can go through it with you all. 1990 score, Series 1, pretty common um, wax box here. I did also pick up Series 2, again, from the LCS. Ten bucks a piece on those. Um, that's about what they go for, roughly. Uh, but like I said, this is a super common, um, kind of like wax box or set. Not a ton of value to these. And uh, these are the, of course, trademark trash bag wrapper packs from Score. Here's a look at the pack here. I'm sure uh, most everybody, especially if you're a football collector, is familiar with these. But um, we are going to be looking for rookie cards. There are a couple of Hall of Fame rookie uh, rookies here in Series 1. You've got Cortez Kennedy as well as Junior Seau. Uh, Emmett Smith is cannot be found in wax boxes, unfortunately, not Series 1 or 2. Um, his rookie is only found in the um, factory sets. Wow, that's about as clean of a rip as you will ever get out of these kind of packs. So uh, here is our first pack. We've got 16 cards per, and here's the design. Again, I'm sure everybody is familiar with these, but... Um, we are going to be looking for Patriots. Of course, these little trivia cards come one per pack. Um, there's Patriot right there, Steve Grogan. And then, of course, any other Hall of Fame uh, players we can find, like Jim Kelly, Hot Gun. That is a subset. Somebody is kind of stuck to the back of him a little bit. It's unusual. There's uh, no gloss to these cards, so I'm not sure why they would be sticking, but... Jim Everett there. Don't uh, you dare call him Chris Everett. I think everybody remembers um, or has seen the clip at least at this point of the famous Jim Everett interview with uh, Jim Rome where Jim Rome keeps calling him Chris Everett or Everett the uh, tennis player's name there and Jim Everett gets very very offended and goes after Rome, deservedly so. There's our next little trivia card there. Of course, we, uh, I don't know if Barry Sanders is in Series 1 or not. I can't remember. But there's our first rookie, Reggie Rembert. Outside of the couple I named, there's really, um, no other good rookies in 90 score. Of course, super overproduced. We got Mongo on the back for all you wrestling fans. Icky Woods. I haven't seen much in the way of stars just yet. Marion Butts, Steve Atwater, Thurman Thomas. Speaking, they shall appear. There's our next rookie. It looks like there might be roughly one per pack on those. Clay Matthews. And then there is Mongo. Former member of uh, the Four Horsemen. That is pretty weird to think about. That a football player was a member of the Four Horsemen. He definitely, uh, there's a nice one, Troy Aikman, early in his career. Mongo definitely fit, um, there's Hall of Famer DeMonte Dawson. Mongo fit the bill for sure with the Horsemen out of the ring. He definitely was a partier. In the ring, not so much. Morton Anderson, Ronaldo Turnbull, rookie card. Johnny Rembert, all the Patriots in here are pretty much commons. I mean, you got Andre Tippett, who is a Hall of Famer, but um, there's really not any value to his cards. But I like them. I'll take them. I'm pretty sure I've already got the uh, Andre Tippett. There's another Hall of Famer there, Richard Dent. Mike Singletary, 
I do believe, uh, Bill Romanowski, I think. There's Jesse Tuggle, actually. That is, uh, our next rookie card. Kind of a name, I suppose. Uh, Bill Romanowski, I think, has a rookie in Series 2. So when we get to that box, that's one we'll be looking out for. <clears throat> Not sure if we will do, um, Series 2 in our next video, or... If Maybe I'll hold off on that one and see if I can't uh, find something else to space that out. John Elway there. Space out our 90 score um, within the next few days anyways. We shall see. Andre Reed is in the Hall of Fame. Seen a couple of doubles thus far already. Rodney Pete, Chris Spielman, and then Gil Bird. The final one there. No sign of Seau just yet. And then, uh, I did not realize that Cortez Kennedy, um, was in the Hall of Fame. It's not quite, uh, the Football Hall of Fame is not quite like the Baseball Hall of Fame. I feel like most people can peg or, uh, pick out, you know, if you were to say like, hey, is this guy a Hall of Famer, a Baseball Hall of Famer? Most people would be able to give you an answer. For football, it's a little bit different. Uh, especially guys like uh, offensive linemen, um, like Dermonte Dawson. Like, how many how many casual uh, football fans would know that Dermonte Dawson is in the Pro Football Hall of Fame? There's our boy, Barry Sanders. I, I don't remember if I've got that one uh, already or not, but, uh, you can find out, go back and check out our, or my, uh, Four Goats PC video, where we showed off, uh, the Four Goats PC of Barry Sanders, Tom Brady, Ken Griffey Jr., and Mike Trout. I'll have to, uh, Take another look at my berry collection to see if I've got that one already. I think I probably do, because like I said, I have opened this before, and just the video was, um, there's another Aikman. The video was like, and there's Dan Marino. The video was like lost in the cloud somewhere, I don't know what the hell happened to it. Howie Long, another Hall of Famer there. Rodney Hampton, rookie, hot gun, Warren Moon. Nice one. Or nice design, anyways. Cool looking, I should say. Don't really want to say nice one, because again, none of these are, um... None of these have a ton of value to them. Looks like we've got, uh... The goat receiver on the back, Jerry Rice. With hair. A lot of people might not remember that. Because, uh... Especially... Younger folks in the 90s, Jerry did not have hair. Vinny Testaverde. Mark Spindler, rookie. Still no sign of Seau. And then there is the Jerry Rice. I've got a binder with a bunch of, um, like, big-name Hall of Fame football players. Uh, base cards and such. So I'll see if I've uh, already got the Rice. I think I do. Cannot remember um, when I previously um, checked out 90 score if um, I found everything or not. Jumbo Elliott, seen a couple of those. Andre Ware. And there we go. There is the Junior Seau rookie card. Very nice. Seau out of USC. Rest in peace to uh, Junior. Of course, he tragically. Um, committed suicide, and it was found that, uh, <clears throat> he did have CTE, which is, uh, again, very tragic, but nice Junior Seau rookie card there, so there's one of the Hall of Fame rookies. Actually, I want to say maybe I didn't find that one the first time I checked this out here. <clears throat> And like I said at the beginning, of course, uh, fall is football season, which means it's fantasy football season. Another Tuggle uh, rookie card. And um, you have not heard me talk too much 
There's a Ray Agnew rookie. You have not heard me talk too much about uh, fantasy football here on these videos because... Actually, let's... Uh, where'd that Agnew rookie go? That's a Patriot right there. Um, there's a reason why you haven't heard me talk too much about uh, the fantasy season. And um, I think we will leave it at that. <laughs> I'm sure you can all figure out what that reason is. Not really sure what happened. Seemed like things were going to go well. Anthony Tony, Steve Smith, Wilbur Marshallers, Chris Singleton, Blair Thomas, a notorious rookie bust, and then Sean Collins, the final one there. Blair Thomas, rookie bust, running back for the Jets. <clears throat> he uh, did not last very long in the league. Another Dan Marino there. Jim Jeff Cope, Flipper Anderson. Real name Willie. Looks like our trivia card. A little clingy. A little bit of a cling on. I almost said for you Star Wars fans, people would have lost their minds. <laughs> Star Trek. Yes, of course, I know the difference. <clears throat> I am a Star Wars fan, not a fanatic, but I do enjoy the movies. Another Jerry Rice on the back. I am not a Star Trek fan, although I did think um, the newer movies I thought were pretty badass. There's a Bruce Smith there. Icky Woods again, seen a couple of him. Dave Maggot. Another trivia card. Uh, Gerald Riggs. I think we've seen like three of those Lars Tates, Dalton Hilliard, these Ground Force, uh, Barry Foster rookie card, and then another Jerry Rice. Looks like the Ground Force subset um, doesn't have the best names. We haven't seen a good one yet. So Dalton Hilliard there out of the Saints. I have uh, no recollection of him, and that's probably for good reason. We are roughly approaching halfway through this box. 90 score series one. Hopefully everyone's sticking with us for this uh, uh, Roger Craig. That's probably the best one there. Mark Rippon and RJ Ware again. I was going to say this say out search, but um, we have already sought out and plucked out the say out as you can see if you are just joining in. So we're still. Uh, I guess looking for the Cortez Kennedy rookie, there's another Troy Aikman. Pretty uh, nice centering, and it looks like uh, Aikman is always followed by Dan Marino, it seems. By Sika Hema there. <clears throat> Pardon me. Benny Blades. Scott Norwood. Bills fans do not want to see that. Dan Marino, hot gun. Another cool looking design there. And then Leonard Smith, the final one there. You would think they would have put, like, flames or something um, other than clouds of on the background of a... There's, like, a little piece of cardboard there. On the background of a subset called Hot Gun. That's kind of a... I guess a weird choice, considering the um, name of the subset. Kickers galore. Look at this. Three in a row. Another Jesse Tuggle rookie card. This must be a uh, Jesse Tuggle rookie card hot box. Steve Smith again, Ground Force, Thurman Thomas. Definitely the best one of those I would say we've seen. Hot Gun Warren Moon. And then Neil Anderson, Tom Rathman, and Jay Hilgenberg. Jay Noogie Burger, the final one. What movie is that from? Noogie Burger. I can't remember now. Mr. Noogie Burger. Or maybe it's a TV show. I forget. Don Beebe, Robert Perryman. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only one the first time around I checked this out for uh, Patriots cards that I kept was the Andre Tippett. There's a nice one. Bo Jackson, Ground Force. Hey, the lightning thing there, that kind of makes sense for, uh, I guess, Ground Force force although obviously lightning is um <clears throat> more of a uh air phenomenon i guess 
I don't know. Interesting choices nonetheless. John Stevens for the Pats Pile. Christian Okoye, the Nigerian Nightmare, had um, a couple of solid seasons, I think, with uh, the Chiefs there in the late 80s, early 90s. Bruce Matthews, Barry Sanders' ground force, very nice. That one looks pretty cool, the uh, pink lightning there. And then John Alt, the final one. We're definitely more than halfway through now. Hopefully everyone's enjoying this video. If you are, please like. If you're not enjoying the video, don't, uh, please don't dislike. Just, um, stop watching, I suppose. I would prefer that over a dislike, but it's a free country, so, uh, do as you please. Definitely prefer likes, though, and of course, if you are not subscribed, Joe Montana, hot gun, pretty nice one. <clears throat> if you aren't subbed to the channel yet, definitely uh, hit that subscribe button. There's always tons of content here to check out, especially since we're doing um, three and four videos every single week. Another Barry Sanders there. Alternating weeks, we go every other day. So, uh, one week will be Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And then the following week, John Freeze Rookie, will be um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So, uh, no shortage of things to keep you entertained. Hopefully, here on uh, the Headlocks and Hot Packs channel, John Elway again. Not sure. I, well, actually, I am sure. We have not seen everything, because uh, we haven't seen the Cortez Kennedy rookie yet, but still a number of packs remaining. Starting to see a lot more doubles, so uh, I will start thumbing through these a little bit faster. Unless the uh, Cortez Kennedy is in Series 2, I am pretty sure it's in Series 1. Memory, don't fail me now. Charles Haley has got a number of rings. Steve Jordan, Hartley Dykes. Careful saying that name, you don't want to get yourself in trouble. We roll on to our next package here. I think I probably will try to um, see if I can't find a different box here in the next few days to space out our 90 score openings. Thurman Thomas, I can't remember if we've seen that one or not. I think we did already see the Marino. I'll go through my piles again, Ronnie Lott here, uh, once we're done recording and kind of reorganize. Getting closer and closer to the bottom of the box here. It doesn't look like our usual 30-minute time limit is going to be in play. Don BB again. Another Robert Perryman. Looks like the collation is pretty much the same on most of these. Henry Ellard. Sterling Sharp. Jumbo Elliott again. Another Bo Jackson Ground Force and Thurman Thomas. And then Joe Montana. So a few nice names in a row there. Three of them to, uh, to be factual. Next pack here. Looks like we may have, I don't know, like nine packs left. Lawrence Taylor. Nice one there. A little bit of a printing poo-poo on the bottom border. Herschel Walker. Todd McNair. Uh, I believe that's Ken Harvey's rookie card, but he's not pictured in his uh, college uniform. I'm thinking at this time that probably was because he played in 89, but didn't, um, I guess didn't have a rookie card in 89. Not too sure. Could be wrong on that. Good old Bobby Clark on the back. Bo Jackson. First time seeing that one. Right on top of our pack. Another Sterling Sharp. Lewis Lips Falls. On top of our Seau, Kevin Murphy, Bart Oates, Lynn James, rookie, 
receivers. We saw that one already. Jerry Ball. Bob Gagliano. Is he a quarterback or a punter? Quarterback. Couldn't tell. And then Robert Clark, the final one there. Looks like we are down to our final eight packs. So, again, glad that uh, you have all tuned in. This one really came apart. Rough. Rough, rough, crying dog. Don't worry, I took the pack the pack off screen, but I'm not switching anything out. This is not a break. John Elway, Merrill Hodge. And another trivia card stuck to the back there. Marion Butts, Clyde Simmons, Bobby Humphrey, Ground Force, and Okoye again. Anthony Munoz, I think he's in the hall, and then Tom Rathman, 49ers. And another Jerry Rice that's been on the back of the pack every time we have found it. So that is a little unusual. Fred Marion, <clears throat> Steve Young, first time seeing that one. Rod Woodson, he is definitely in the Hall of Fame. Pete Stoyanovich, Dion Sanders, second year Dion. Very nice. Another Howie Long there, and another Ground Force Barry. Hartley Dykes, and then Jerry Rice again. So that one had uh, some pretty quality names in there. And that's weird. How did that pack get turned sideways? That is pretty weird. I don't think I've seen that before. All those boxes and sealed, so... Who knows, maybe somebody took all the packs out and then put them back in. Not sure what the purpose of that would have been. Again, since there's not a ton of value to these. Another Jesse Tuggle rookie. That marks five in this box. Joel Smeenge rookie. Jim Kelly hot gun. And then Jim Everett again. <clears throat> Tom Newberry, the final one there. Last four packs here. Definitely going to be our time limit. It is of no concern to us today, Don BB again. I don't know why I said that like Chris Jericho again. Never ever again. Another Deion Sanders. Sam Mills. Reggie Rembert rookie. And then Hampton again. Again. And then Bobby Clark. The last one there. Three remaining here. Definitely been a while uh, since I've seen some basketball. That Barry Sanders took a little bit of a ding. Maybe I'll try and uh, see if I can't score some of that for our next video. Not that I have stopped trying. It's just hard to find Steve Young again. Hard to find for a decent price, that's for sure. Especially since this channel is uh, all about the fun of collecting and trying to not spend and arm and a leg, I think we do a pretty good job of getting deals, especially on uh, some of the things from the LCS, like, uh, there's another Barry Sanders nice one there, I'll go through those and uh, end up keeping the one in the best shape, uh, we did pretty good on that massive $10 box that we got from the LCS. Tons of numbered cards in there. I would, uh, for sure, urge people to go back and check that one out. Tom Rathman, the last one there, as we hit our final pack here. So, uh, again, no no Cortez Kennedy rookie, but, um, I don't know, I, I pr could have been mistaken. That probably, I guess, might be in Series 2, or we just didn't see it because, um, there is Montana's base. Regular base, not subset. Um, and Jim Kelly. We did find the Seau rookie card, but um, we only came across one of them, unless there's one here in our final pack. Ben Smith rookie, and then Ronaldo Turnbull rookie, the final card, Eddie Anderson. So, I don't know, perhaps we will find the Kennedy in Series 2, or we just haven't found it at all, but um, the main course here was... The Junior Seau rookie card. I'm almost positive that I don't have this one in my uh, Hall of Fame rookie collection, so not too bad. A uh, couple of Barry Sanders here. I think I might have those already. Again, I don't really recall. Uh, but then also a nice 
Nice stack of Patriots, all commons, but uh, they will go in the PC, PC regardless. So, again, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll try to space out the score, but um, if we hit up Series 2 in our next video, that means I just didn't really find anything. So, uh, again, thanks for watching, and until next time, everybody have a good night.